Well, I went to the uh, retinal specialist, uh, the doctor yesterday, in Bozeman, and uh, I got kind of good news and bad news. It's, it, he can't promise that everything's going to come out perfect. Uh, I may never really regain full uh, good vision in my right eye. And I may, uh, with this operation that they're going to perform on the, the right eye. Um, some of it has to do with diabetes. I got type 2 diabetes. And uh, what complicates it with diabetic patients is the stickiness of the gel in the uh, eye. But what they're going to do is they're going to pump a uh, air bubble into my uh, eye. Uh, he said some kind of air. I wasn't, I just sort of sat there because it was going right over my head. I'm not a medical person. I had um, a, a friend of mine who's a uh, EMT uh, volunteer here in our small town in Ennis, Montana and in there to listen uh, to what he had to say and she she has has a medical background and stuff like that <clears throat> so I figured it'd be best to have somebody with that who could explain stuff to me uh, <laughs> when I'm not in the doctor's office but anyway they're going to operate on my eye in January and it's going to be at the uh, the uh, Bozeman Deaconess Hospital um, where I'll have the operation. It could take up to two hours to uh, work on my eye because of the complications. And they're going to laser uh, burn, uh, they're going to laser the uh, excessive veins in my eye, in the gel of my eye, uh, at that time too. And so that should uh, clear up uh, the eyes quite a bit. My problem is it the, the, there's hair-like things in my vision and uh, have you ever looked through a, a, a windshield with a crack in it and you're looking at an object and it's sort of uh, split and, and it, it because of the, uh, the vision of it through that crack is split well that's what happens with my vision um, I could read a lot more on the eye chart but some of the letters get distorted because of the hair type uh, in you know the uh, veins in my eye and uh, be, has that uh, crack in the windshield effect and so it makes it hard to, to tell what letter it is I'm looking at anyway they put a lot of deadening stuff in my eye because I have to take a pressure test and uh, of the eye and uh, my eyes both of them are in good uh, good uh, parameters for that um, so anyway, it's, it's for about three or four days, maybe five days after I've gone to the, to the retinal specialist, uh, and they've done all that stuff on my eyes. It, my eyes really tire out quickly. They don't focus very well. And, uh, so I, I just can't do anything for three or four days. And, uh, so... I'm not going to sculpt today, but uh, the day before I went to uh, the retinal specialist, um, I spent the day trying to work out uh, the proportions for the figure that's going to go with the horse. And the way I figured is, it is a person can stand next to a horse and put their arm over the back of the horse most of the time, I, at least I could. and. Uh, now the thing to remember about people in the 1800s, they weren't as tall as we were. The average height of a Roman soldier was five foot uh, six, and uh, you know I, I just can't even imagine people that small uh, marching against me, <laughs> just like a bunch of midgets marching against me. But anyway, I'm foot five foot eight and a half. Uh, but anyway, I can put my arm over a horse's back, and I figure that's a good, you know, scale for the uh, figure. And so I, I worked out the uh, scale for this uh, skeletal uh, drawing that I got off the web. 
Um, if you uh, want to find an anime or any kind of things to help you uh, in sculpting or, or, or drawing or you know, painting, whatever, um, I always do, when you do a Google search, always type out uh, like say uh, human uh, skeletal structure for artists. Always end the search with the two words for artists. If you don't do that, you'll get all kinds of crap. But that narrows the the search pattern for you. Like, uh, uh, well, for instance, uh, dog anatomy for artists, uh, horse anatomy for artists, human anatomy for artists. All that. Always end it with the words for artists. If you don't do that, uh, like I said, you'll get a bunch of unrelated items in your search and then go to your image uh, areas image area of the Google search and that's where you'll find uh, all kinds of stuff and then you go through and then you copy and paste uh, or you save the the things that are relevant to what you're going to be using in your artwork um, into your onto your computer and then you've got it for reference and I always make up folders for different Things like skeletal structure, arms, legs, head, you know, things that, uh, uh, you know, segregates certain areas so that if you're working on, like, say, a horse's head, you got a folder with all the horse head anatomy pictures in it, and then you can use it on your computer. So, anyway, that's just some information. I'm not going to be showing. Um, uh, everything uh, on my videos when I work on this uh, figure. Uh, this figure is going to be going with the uh, the horse that I created uh, in the uh, video creating a horse from scratch which is the two DVD uh, set that uh, I have in my instructional uh, DVDs that I offer. I offer nine sets of DVDs and uh, this is one of them. And I'm going to eliminate one of the uh, sets uh, when I get this uh, figure uh, one, adding a figure to your horse uh, DVD. And uh, I don't know if it's going to be a one DVD or two DVDs. It could be just one. Uh, if it's two, it's going to be a little more expensive, but I can't help that. I mean, I'm trying to give you all the information I can and, and stuff like that. It's probably next week I'll be starting this and uh, I'll show you videos each day of my progress. Uh, maybe throw in something from the uh, video that I shot that day. But like I said, I'm not going to be following it uh, uh, ver verbatim because uh, that's why you buy the DVDs so you can get that information. So anyway, it's, I, I'm positive about my eyes, and uh, I'm seeing better than I have seen in six or seven months. Um, the fact that I can sculpt without my magnifiers is is a big plus for me right now. I'll keep sculpting, you know, no matter what. All right, everybody, and till next time, and I can't tell you when that'll be, but uh, till next time. I hope you guys have a, a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.